Hello, my name is Ria Yoshida. I currently live in Los Angeles. I'm an actress in Hollywood and I used to be an English teacher back in Tokyo. Thank you. Okay, so I have some questions for you. The first question is what made you decide to go abroad? So, the reason why I decided to come to the US is that my mother suggested.、Um, I was actually planning on going to Japanese university and I was studying for the you know, entrance exam, but I was studying really, really hard. I wanted to go to this like, certain school and I had to study like 12 subjects, 12 or 13 subjects.、Um, and I was studying every day, almost like 18 hours. Oh my gosh. And when, yeah, it was like a、yeah, really long time.、Um, and then in high school, I was you know, going to like, Japanese like, you know, public high school. And I was also like, training with like, dancing. And I was also like, Belong to like model agency, so I just worked too hard and I started to feel sick afterwards, you know, after studying too much and doing too much at the you know, same time.、Um, yeah, so my mother saw me and she was concerned about me, and then she just you know suggested that hey, since you're a little bit weird, maybe it's better to go to. The US, and also it's you know, maybe you're gonna be able to learn how to balance your life in the US because you know, he, she, she just thought that Japanese people always like worked too hard sometimes.、Mm-hmm. So, yeah, my mother suggested, and then it was around like Santa Shiken, so it was around like January, and before that, I never even thought of like going to. Um, the college in the US. And then, you know, as soon as she said that, I was like, maybe she's right. And then I decided to like research about it. And then、uh, I think I, yeah, I moved to the US that year in April. Oh, really? I s h o w e d Yeah, so it was like two or three months of like thinking and researching, and I was already in the, in the US. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So. Obviously, you were busy in Japan, and、uh, what, did you have a busy lifestyle in the US as well?、Or? I mean, at first, I didn't really understand English. You know, I studied you know, in high school, but you know, I didn't really practice speaking or listening, so I didn't really understand what's going on. So I have to adjust it. So, in that Since I was really busy, like trying to study and trying to survive, because <laughs> I didn't have any, I didn't know anyone or I just didn't speak anything. So, yeah, the only thing I, I knew how to say was yes and no and just smile.、Oh、That's how, how I survived. <laughs> so, so yeah. yeah, at first I was busy studying. Okay, thank you.、Um, actually, uh, second question、um, How did you learn to speak English? So, I studied in junior high and high school. I had you know, like regular education from public Japanese school, and that's the basic, yeah, like grammar and writing. And that's the only knowledge I had when I went to the US. And then I entered、uh, language school, and then that language school had like this like, test where you can. Pass the test, and then you have the permission to、uh, enter the, the college. So I did that and I passed it. And then I was there for like three months,、mm-hmm. and then I started going to college. Okay, three months, and you managed to pass the test. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, I was studying really hard in Japan, so I guess it helped. But yes, speaking or like listening, I was not really prepared. I went to、um, college and they also had ESL classes, and I took those. And I, once I passed that, I was able to take J 
general education. And I was one of the very first、um, general education classes I took was US history. And it was so hard.、Um, yeah, like one of the assignments was that the teacher was showing this you know, video、um, of like US history. And then after watching it, you have to write an essay. Oh my God. But when I was watching it in classroom, I did not understand anything at all. So I went up to my teacher and I asked him, could you send me the link? Because I did not understand. It, I, it was just my second language. And I was so frustrated because in school in Japan, I was always like one of the top students. So I always like had my things together. But in the US, I didn't. I was this you know, immigrant who just, who just like couldn't really speak well. And I couldn't express my feelings. So it was really, really frustrating. And I think I actually cried in front of my teacher. <laughs> okay, yeah. But,、uh, yeah. but I went back to home and then I watched it like more than 10 times and I wrote an essay and I got an A for that class. Oh, well done. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I understand your feelings. It's quite frustrating that, you know, you can do things easily in Japan, but you can't do. Like even tiny things, it's just making a phone call is quite hard and yeah, you know, things. yeah, that's right. Okay, so you said、um, you used to teach English, so、mm -hmm. I teach IELTS to Japanese students at the moment. So I just wanted to ask,、um, what do you keep in mind when you teach English? When I teach English, I always Try to make it fun because you know, if it's not fun, you're not gonna be motivated to learn. So, I always try to make it fun and I always try to learn about students because each student h a v e you know their own individuality and what motivates them can be different, and then their goals are different as well. So, yeah, when I was teaching in At university, you know, Meiji University, I was teaching that.、Um, I remember every student's names and their hobbies.、Ooh, okay. Yeah. I wanted, to be, I wanted to be more like two way communication rather than just like teacher speaking. You know, that's like the regular Japanese like teaching style. It's very passive. I wanted to make it more interactive because that's how you learn. Because it's a language. Language is the Tool to communicate with people. So, in order to do that, you have to practice. So, that's, that's something I always like keep in mind. you know It is not a goal to just like learn about English.、Yeah. The goal is to use it and show your personalities and show who you are to the world. So, yeah. Oh, that's great. Right. Thank you. Another question is、uh, What do you do to keep improving your English? What I do to keep improving my English is that I am a very curious person. I have limitless curiosity about things. So if I'm curious, I study, I learn about it. You know, I'm reading something in English, and if I don't understand like certain words, I, you know, Research about it and then learn the, the meaning and also what will be like the, the example sentences and what kind of situation that comes with it. So I imagine in the picture the scene that we're going to be used rather than just looking up the meanings.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I always try to like use it. In a sentence, I would like speak to you, or I would be like writing my diary. I try to use it. Okay. Because just, yeah, being able to understand is one thing, and being able to actually use it and make it your own, make it your own word, that's something else. Mm, mm. Yeah. yeah. So that's something I do. And then I love listening and I love reading. I love listening to like audiobooks. I think last month I listened to 28 books. 28 books? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm constantly like listening to like, yeah, English speakers. Yeah. I think that's how I improved my English too,、mm. uh, like pronunciation. So do you actually、like、do you 
do you use shadowing uh, sort of thing? Do you speak? With yeah. Someone? Yeah. Uh, before COVID, because I was like driving a lot, you know, in LA you have to drive a lot and then you get in, you get stuck in traffic. So I wanted to make it, make the time, you know, work for me rather than complaining. <laughs> so I would listen to like podcasts or like audiobooks in the car and for two hours, you know, commuting, I would be doing shadowing the whole time. Oh, okay. Do you have to drive two hours? Um, sometimes it took me two hours, yeah. Oh my or like sometimes one one hour to audition and then on the way coming back, it's yeah. gonna take me like one hour and a half. I mean, LA traffic is really bad, so I will be sitting behind my wheel all the time. So I wanted to, yeah, use that time to study. So yeah. sometimes I listen to like audiobooks, podcasts, YouTube videos, you know, don't just don't look at it, just listen to it. And then also like accent reduction CDs. I would have that in the car and I would practice yeah. again oh. and again and again and again. Oh, okay. I might do the same. Um, okay, so next one is the last question. Actually, you know, many people actually ask me this question. So how do you stay motivated to learn English? I think it's a matter of finding out what you like and what you enjoy and also what is your goal you know studying English because for me I wanted to work be able to work in Hollywood so English was bare minimum like everyone can speak English it's not an advantage at all like if I'm in Japan and I can speak English it's an advantage right but if I'm living in LA and everyone speaks English and I can't speak, I'm a baby and I, I have disadvantage. So I wanted to be able to work in the industry. And then Hollywood is like Olympic of acting. And for Olympic, you have gold medal, silver medal, and bronze, right? But in Hollywood, we only have gold. Because mm. if you don't book it, you're not going to get paid and you're not going to be able to work so what is the likelihood of someone who don't speak English you're not going to book any job so that was like my for me that was a matter of survival okay. in order for me to work and get a job I need to study in English and I needed to be able to communicate effectively yeah 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 so yeah that was my motivation so what is your motivation you know what makes your heart skip a little and then you know yeah, yeah. make you happy yeah okay oh, good. that'll be a good um answer to my listeners too i think yeah for you learning english is not the the goal for you um yeah getting a job something like that as a goal so thank you very much for answering all the questions for your son um okay so talk to you soon thank you okay thank you so much Jujiko-san.